The old saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure, is true at two installations where the Air Force is using landfill gas to power its mission. So far, gas from trash has saved the Air Force millions of dollars in power bills. Ken Gray heads up the Renewable Energy Program at the Air Force Civil Engineer Center. Our first landfill gas project was actually at Hill Air Force Base over seven years ago. The benefits of landfill gas are that we have a ready fuel supply from a landfill, which is just another form of using our waste to create energy, and it, it burns very cleanly and it operates 24-7, so it's a continuous source of power and can provide real energy surety to a base because it runs continuously. This landfill gas to energy facility has powered Hill Air Force Base in Utah for eight years. The facility houses three generators and produces 2.3 megawatts of electricity a year. We take advantage of a rate schedule 37, which is a cost avoidance rate schedule through our local purchase utility provider, which allows us uh, to get a credit on our main base power bill for every uh, kilowatt hour of energy that the plant generates for us. So it's a win-win not only for the Air Force and Hill Air Force Base, but also for the local community as well. The Air Force's second landfill gas facility went into operation in 2013 at Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson in Alaska. It's taking landfill gas from the city of Anchorage landfill and bringing it on board uh, the J Bear facility, which is immediately next door. And we're generating currently seven megawatts of electricity, which will make this plant the highest producing single renewable energy project in the Air Force. Landfills generate methane gas for an average of 30 years. Once it tapers off, engineers will supplement the plant with natural gas to continue power generation. The Air Force actually has uh, somewhere over 600 landfills that have been on their bases at some point and are almost completely closed at this point, uh, but they may still be uh, generating landfill gas and so we're going to work to start a study to look at all of those existing Air Force landfills and see if any have the possibility of a potential source of landfill gas.